Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I hope you'll stick around to see our homeschool journey. My name is Jamie and I'm a homeschool mama of three boys. They are eight, six, and 19 months old. In today's video, instead of doing my peek into a week, I'm actually just going to talk to you about my reading, writing, grammar, curriculum that I use. I haven't done a video on it, but I had um, some people ask questions about it and I had someone ask me to do a video on it. So I'm just going to walk you through Rooted in Reading reading curriculum. I do do the Rooted in Reading for grade two. Even though I have a second grader and a first grader, I just adapt it so that my first grader can join in on all the activities as well. And he's doing excellent with it. It's working out really great and I'm really excited for the new year to go ahead and do third grade next year. I have loved this curriculum. It is wonderful. It's introduced me to some great read aloud books that I didn't know about. Um, and I'm going to share some of the stuff with you now in this video. So here are a few sheets that I pick, printed out. She has like a whole section for the teacher. I just printed out some of the ones that I really like and I'm going to go through those for you right now. So what this one is, is just an overview of the year. I like this because it lets me know what books we'll be using for the year. And that way I can go ahead and look and see which ones I own, which ones I need to get from the library, etc. So you can see book one. So that would be the first book, book two for the second week, book three for the third week, and then book four for the fourth week. And so like we're in November now, and I did switch these because I wanted to do this one right before Thanksgiving. And I'm actually skipping both of these and not doing it because November was a short month for us. And I don't want to get behind. And then we'll start with December on How to Catch Santa, Night Tree, The Legend of the Poinsettia, and Who's That Knocking on Christmas Eve. And I know I own these two. So I'll need to just get these two from the library. So this is just an overlook of the entire month. So, I mean for the entire year. So I really like this sheet that I printed out. The next thing I'm going to show you is the nonfiction readers that go along with it. And they actually have the nonfiction readers for you. It's not something you have to buy or, I mean, you do buy it because you buy the whole package, but they already have them and they've created them. Last week we did the Northeastern Native American Way of Life. This week we're going to do Turkey Talk, but these are the nonfiction that it comes with. And then for December, I'm going to go ahead and share those with you. So we'll do Christmas and Hanukkah, Evergreen Trees, Lost Posadas, and Polar Bears. And that will be our nonfiction readers for the month. And they come with those. So this is just a great one that I printed out so that way I know kind of what we're going to be learning about that month or week. Another thing that I printed out was the book suggestion supplement readings. These are other books that you can get that would work with it. So for Turk and Runt this week, she recommended a plump and perky turkey and turkey trouble. And what I'll do, like our library did not have either one of these and I don't own them. So I'll actually pull it up on YouTube to see if there's a read aloud on YouTube for this. So let's just go ahead and look at December because I'm not doing school next week. And then when we come back, it will be like November 30th and I'll be starting in the December one. So for this one, she has How to Catch Santa is your main book. And then she recommends How Santa Got His Job and Hanukkah in Alaska, neither of which I own. And then she goes through those like that. So she has that for the entire year. Another thing I printed out was the vocabulary word master list. I like being able to see all the words for the month and then for the week. So these are the vocabulary words and in a minute I'm going to show you how I utilize them. I'm also going to show you an example of a week's worth of work for my kids. Another thing that I printed off that I like to use is this one. So it has the book and then it tells you the comprehension skills and the grammar for that week. So I like to go over that. So this one is making inferences, nonfiction locating facts and adverbs. And then let's go ahead and look at December just so you can kind of get an idea. With the book, it tells you asking questions, comparing and contrasting, which we have already done this year. And then transitional words. We'll do main idea, text evidence, contractions, cause and effect, textual evidence, verb tenses, textual evidence, and prepositions. So that is all of the teacher resources that I like to keep out just for me. Now I'm going to show you some of the other stuff that we utilize. So I, am so I am holding my camera now, so hopefully it's not too shaky on you guys. So this is something that comes in her pack. It's a mentor text, so she takes a sentence from the book. 
and then she has activities for it all through the week. Well, instead of the kids doing this individually, we do it together. So there is our sentence for the week that we have been working on. And then on Monday, it said, why did Runt chase Madame Waddell out of the barnyard? And the kids gave me the response and I wrote it for them. On Tuesday, it asked for us to do the um, verbs in blue, the proper nouns in orange, and then the nouns in yellow. No, I did that right, yeah. And nouns in yellow. And really this would be an adjective maybe because it's describing the turkeys, but um, the kids told me a maniac, it could be a thing, so, or like a person, so we did it as that. But now that I'm looking at it, it really could have been um, an adjective describing the turkeys. But anyways, um, so Wednesday we have to correct the sentence. And then Thursday, we'll do this one tomorrow. How was Ron acting like a maniac? And we'll talk about it and we'll put up another little post-it. And you can see, we just put up the little post-its. This is where they gave me examples of each. Nouns, verbs, and proper nouns. Beside that, I do have I wrote vocabulary for the week. So it comes with this and I just print it out. And we go over the words and it has the definition. And I like to keep this up and I like to go back over it throughout the week anytime we're talking about it. That way it's just there for a review. I'm also gonna flip over to our board because you're just gonna see some of the activities that it comes with. So some of these are still from last week. So this was like from last week, but I still have it up until, I don't take it down until I have something to replace it. This was an activity from last week when we were learning about adjectives. And then this one is from this week, which is the Turk and Runt. And we did what we were thankful for because at the end of the book, they talked about what they were thankful for. So that's kind of some of the stuff I utilize. And I'm gonna show you some more of the stuff that I utilize. So right here is um, like so you can see my book. I put it on my easel. This was the book we did this week, and it is, oops, it is super cute. I have never read this book, but I loved it. It is so cute. It's about a turkey, and this is like the turkey is he's graceful, strong, as big as, and this is his little brother, the runt. And his parents are so proud of him and they keep asking him, you know, he's going to be a dancer, he's going to be an athlete, they're going to pick him. And this little one's like, yeah, he's going to be eaten. Like he knows what's going on for Thanksgiving. And then it goes into him practicing so that he'll get picked for Thanksgiving. She comes and wants to pick him for Thanksgiving and the runt scares him her away. And then the coach comes and he's going to pick him for Thanksgiving. And then the little bird scares him away again. And then this little old lady comes and she doesn't want the big bird. She wants Runt. And then Turk realizes that she is going to eat him. And Turk then saves her, Runt. And then they decide at the end that this is how they're going to escape Christmas dinners. So it was a really cute book. We really enjoyed it. And now I'm going to show you some of the anchor charts that go with it. So here is one of the anchor charts, and this is talking about inferences and using inferences to figure out. So these are actual sentences from the text, and then we figured out what those sentences would mean. So this one talks about inferencing. Tomorrow we're gonna to be doing the truth about turkeys, and we're gonna be putting facts on here about turkeys. I think there's one more. It's the other way. So we're gonna be putting facts on here about turkeys. After we read our nonfiction, and then we also have we also have this one where we're gonna um, compare and contrast Turk and Runt, and then we're gonna talk about suggestions on how Runt could have told his family about them becoming Thanksgiving dinner. So it's just our last anchor chart for the week, and we'll do this one on Friday. So I'm using this little pocket chart to hold all of my posters for this week. So this week we're learning about inferencing. Adjectives is a review from last week and then we talked about adverbs. And that is what we're talking about this week. So I put these up so the kids can reference them all week. And I did, um, I know I just did like a classroom tour video like a few weeks ago. Well, since then I have decided that the playroom would become the classroom and the classroom would become the playroom. So I'm in the midst of doing all that in the afternoons and evenings. So um, what I do afterwards is I normally put these posters up on the walls, but because I'm switching classrooms, I don't have them up yet. 
but I'm going to go back into the playroom and show you kind of how I have them. But of course that's going to be changing as I move the posters over into my new classroom. So this room is dark, sorry, but this was my classroom. And this is where I had all of my posters was so that they could utilize them. And I just had them, you can see there's a little bit of a mess here. You see the lamp randomly on things. It's because I'm rearranging all these rooms. But there's all the posters. And what I did with those posters was I hang them on the wall for them to see. But I have to find a new place for them in my new classroom. So, so now I'm kind of just going to show you what it comes with. So, um, this is an example of the lesson plan for the week. And, I mean, these are already done for you. It's amazing. And I double side on and I don't print this in color. This is my son's composition notebook. You can see, I mean, it is jam-packed of all the different things we have done throughout the year. And it has it all. I mean, these are all things that we've done from all the different stories. But I'm going to show you what we did this week. So far, we haven't finished. So we started with um, our vocabulary. They put them in ABC order. They did that um, on Monday. And then we do these little prompts that focus on a vocabulary word. So this one was strut and graceful. And the kids have to write about it. And I don't make them write a lot or draw a picture about it. This is my first grader's notebook. I do expect a little bit more out of my second grader on his writing. And then we were doing the <clears throat> adjectives and adverbs. So a review on adjectives, the new thing is adverbs, and they had to sort them. And then um, for the Thanksgiving dinner, this was a passage. I read it to my first grader. My second grader has to read it by himself and then answer the questions. Here is some more of those vocabulary prompts. So you can see that like, this would have been another day we would have done these. Oops, he accidentally skipped a page. And then this was our story from today. The toddler ripped the title off of it, but it was Life on a Farm. So I read this to my first grader, and my second grader read it by himself. And then here was the questions. And then we did these little adverb foldables where they had to make sentences. And then making inferences. This is what we did today. So there's, there's that anchor chart I was showing you. There's the sentence, and then they just wrote what we talked about, what each little one meant. So they did this with me as I was filling out the anchor chart. They were filling out their foldable. The way that I organize their papers is through these folders. So they have, I have one for every day of the week. Um, so we are actually, I have the Thursday stuff separated and the Friday stuff separated. And then when I'm done with something, I stick it in here. So it does come with questions, which we've already went through all these questions. And I say this because I have another son that I will homeschool one day, or who knows, I might homeschool my sister's kids one day. These are little vocabulary prompts. I might go back to education one day and need these. I don't know. So I do keep all of these, but probably we'll just use it many years from now when my son is in second grade. My baby. So this is circle the adverbs. We're not going to do this activity this week, So, I, but I did print it out and lay it in here. Now I'll show you what's left. So for tomorrow, what we're going to do is I'm going to read to them the turkey talk, which is the story it comes with. Sometimes I'll let my second grader and me read it together. Like he'll read a page, I'll read a page. So this is the nonfiction text that it comes with. And then with that, we are doing this little fact thing where they're going to have to pick out four facts and put it in their notebook. And then here we're going to make a little craft for adverbs so we'll cut this out they'll cut these out and we will put adverb sentences on here they're also going to do the little drawings that come with every week so they'll draw this picture and then they'll write about turkeys I don't know what I'm gonna do with this they say just write facts but I feel like we're already doing that over here so I might like let them do something creative with it like, pretend that you're a turkey, how would you escape Thanksgiving? Pretend that you're a turkey, how do you feel about Thanksgiving? I might do something like, you have a turkey as a pet, or think about how this turkey could escape Thanksgiving. I'm not really sure how what I'll do with this yet, but I always like to do these drawings and then a little creative writing. And then the vocabulary is a matching activity for Thursday, where we just match our vocabulary words. 
And then for Friday, what the kids will do is I will post these around the room and they will walk around the room and read the sentences and I will help my first grader read them. And then they have to write the adverb in the sentence. So this one says, she arrived at the airport today. Well, the adverb would be today because that's describing when she arrived. Um, the child waited impatiently for their turn. Impatiently is how they waited. So impatiently is the adverb. So they'll do that. They'll do a comprehension check on our story. It's both of their copies. Um, here, they will glue this into their notebook and under it they will, um, to describe each one. So we'll describe Turk and we'll describe Runt. And that takes you back to that anchor chart that I showed you over there where it talked about comparing them. And then the last thing they'll do is they'll take a vocabulary quiz for the week. And this is their reading, their writing, their grammar, their literature. It's everything that they have to do for those subjects. Um, if you have any questions about any of this, please leave a comment down below. I'm pretty quick about responding. If there's something you would like to see or if you wanted me to go in more detail about something, please put it down below because the whole reason for me to do this YouTube channel was I wanted to inspire you guys and I wanted to give you ideas because I get a lot of my ideas and stuff from YouTube. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel to see more videos. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it.